In this video, how to add an admin to your Wix website so you can choose to add a full admin or create your own limited version. Let's do this. Okay, so in your Wix dashboard, we're gonna go up to the left drop down menu, My Sites. Just choose the site you want to add an admin to. All right, I'm gonna choose this one. And this is gonna open up the dashboard for this uh, specific site on Wix. So we're gonna go to this one, Site Actions. Just click on this drop down menu and go down to this one, Invite People. Okay, so now we're gonna add an email to your admin. You can add more than one email. To do that, you're just gonna separate them with a comma, okay? So I'm just gonna go invite myself, like so, and after that we're just gonna add comma. Now you can add more emails if you like. All right, then we have roles. You can see all of these uh, different roles. In this tutorial, we're gonna add an admin. So you see this one, admin. So this one has full access to manage, edit and publish site, including billing, domains and inviting people. But uh, this one is uh, important, they can't delete and transfer site. So that's good. And if I check this one, all of the other roles will be checked because admin includes all other roles. You can also go to view role permissions. And here you can go through all the permissions an admin will have for your Wix website, all right? You can also, if you don't like uh, some of the permissions, you can create another admin with limited access, all right? So to do that, we can just go to view role permissions. We're gonna go all the way down and click on this one. Duplicate and edit. This will create a copy of uh, admin. So you can rename this to whatever you like. So let's say I want to rename this to limited. Like so, you cannot have the same name as the original role. All right, and now we can just go into each permissions and have a look. So let's say I want to change uh, blog permissions. You see the one that are highlighted with blue are the one that you can remove. So now you can uncheck the ones that you don't want your admin to have. So if you uncheck manage blog, now you can uncheck moderate blog, and now you can uncheck publish post, all right? Or you can just uncheck them all at the same time, like that. So let's go through them all. So let's say I don't want them to have uh, access to payment and finances. I'm just gonna uncheck this. And when you are satisfied, let's go all the way down to the bottom right, click on save. All right, and now you can choose uh, this one instead, admin limited, where you have less permissions. All right, after that, when you have everything set, we're just gonna go and click on send invite in the bottom right corner. Now we got this pop-up, your invite email was sent. And to give your invite a better experience, tell us how you're connected to each other. If you want, you can uh, check this one, maybe clients I create websites for, and click on done. And now we can see that we have this uh, admin pending. So we need to wait until this uh, admin has accepted invite. So I'm just gonna go to the Gmail and see how this will look like in the inbox. So now we got this one. You are invited to collaborate on a website. All right, so all they have to do is just click on accept now. And after that, they can just uh, sign up on Wix or just log in to their own account if they already have a Wix account. All right, so after they have logged in to their own account, we can update. And now we can see that we have this one accepted. All right, and you can at any time just click on leave site to remove the admin. Okay everyone, so comment below if this uh, worked out for you. Also subscribe for more of these tutorials. Have an awesome day, take care and bye.